Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on advanced control of continuous time systems. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to define a continuous time system, second and higher order, plot response to step and sign inputs, do a body plot, study numer and denome scilab functions, plot poles and zeros of a system. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu 12.04 as the operating system with Scilab 5.3.3 version. Before practicing this tutorial, a learner should have basic knowledge of Scilab and control systems. For Scilab, please refer to the Scilab tutorials available on the Spoken Tutorial website. In this tutorial, I will describe how to define second order linear system. So, first we have to define complex domain variable S. Let us switch to the Scilab console window. Here type S equal to poly open parenthesis 0 comma open single quote S close single quote close parenthesis. Press enter. The output is S. There is another way to define S as continuous time complex variable. On the console window type S equal to percentage S. Press enter. Let us study the syslin scilab command. Use the scilab function syslin to define the continuous time system. G of S is equal to 2 over 9 plus 2S plus S square. Use CSIM with step option to obtain the step response and then plot the step response. Let us switch to the Scilab console window. Here type sys capital G equal to syslin open parenthesis open single quote C close single quote comma 2 divide by open parenthesis S square plus 2 asterisk S plus 9 close parenthesis, close parenthesis. Here, C is used as we are defining a continuous time system. Press enter. The output is linear second order system represented by 2 over 9 plus 2S plus S square. Then type T equal to 0, colon, 0 0.1, colon, 10, semicolon. Press enter. Then type y1 is equal to csim open parenthesis open single quote step close single quote comma t comma sys capital G close the parenthesis semicolon. Press enter. Then type plot open parenthesis t comma y1 close parenthesis semicolon. Press enter. The output will display the step response of the given second order system. Let us study the second order system response for sign inputs. Sign inputs can easily be given as inputs to a second order continuous time system. Let us switch to the Scilab console window. Type u2 is equal to sign open parenthesis T, close parenthesis, semicolon, press enter. Then type Y2 is equal to CSIM, open parenthesis, U2, comma, T, comma, sys, capital G, close the bracket, semicolon. Press enter. Here we are using SysG, the continuous time second order system we had defined earlier. Then type Plot open parenthesis T comma open square bracket U two semicolon Y two close square bracket close parenthesis. Make sure that U place a semicolon between U two and Y two because U two and Y two are row vectors of the same size. Press enter. This plot shows the response of the system to a step input and sign input. It is called the response plot. 
response plots both the input and the output on the same graph. As expected, the output is also a sine wave and there is a phase lag between the input and output. Amplitude is different for the input and the output as it is being passed through a transfer function. This is a typical under damped example. Let us plot body plot of 2 over 9 plus 2s plus s square. Please note command freq is a scilab command for frequency response. Do not use freq as a variable. Open the scilab console and type fr is equal to open square bracket 0 0.0 1 colon 0 0.1 colon 10 close square bracket semicolon. Press enter. The frequency is in hertz. Then type body open parenthesis sys capital G comma fr close parenthesis and press enter. The body plot is shown. Let us define another system. We have an over damp system P equal to S square plus 9 S plus 9. Let us plot step response for the system. Switch to Scilab console. Type this on your console. P is equal to S square plus 9 asterisk S plus 9. And then press enter. Then type this on your console. This 2 is equal to syslin open parenthesis open single quote c close single quote comma 9 divided by p close parenthesis and press enter then type t equal to 0 colon 0 0.1 colon 10 semicolon press enter y is equal to c sim open parenthesis Open single quote, tap, close single quote, comma, t, comma, sys, 2, close the parenthesis, semicolon. Press enter. Then type plot, open parenthesis, t, comma, y, close parenthesis. Press enter. The response plot for over dam system is shown. To find the roots of p, type this on your console. Roots of p and press enter. These roots are the poles of the system sys2. The roots or poles of the system are shown. Please plot step response for the system along similar lines as for over dam system. g of s is equal to 2 over 9 plus 6s plus s square which is a critically dam system. Then g of s is equal to 2 over 9 plus s square which is an undamped system. g of s is equal to 2 over 9 minus 6s plus s square which is an unstable system. Check response to sinusoidal input for all the cases and plot body plot 2. Switch to scilab console. For a general transfer function the numerator and denominator can be specified separately. Let me show you how. Type on console sys3 is equal to syslin open parenthesis open single quote c close single quote comma s plus 6 comma s square plus 6 asterisk s plus 19 close parenthesis. Press enter. Another way of defining a system is to type g is equal to open parenthesis s plus 6 close parenthesis divided by open parenthesis s square plus 6 asterisk s plus 19 close parenthesis. Press enter. Then type this on your console. sys4 is equal to syslin open parenthesis open single quote, c, close single quote, comma, g, close parenthesis. Press enter. Both ways we get the same output.
6 plus s over 19 plus 6 s plus s square. The variable sys is of type rational. Its numerator and denominator can be extracted by various ways. Sys of 2, numer of sys or numer of g gives the numerator. The denominator can be calculated using sys3 or denom of sys functions. The poles and zeros of the system can be plotted using PLZR function. The syntax is PLZR of sys. The plot shows x for poles and circles for zeros. Switch to Scilab console. Type this on your Scilab console. Sys3 open parenthesis 2 close parenthesis. Press enter. This gives the numerator of the rational function sys3 that is 6 plus s. Otherwise you can type numer open parenthesis sys3 close parenthesis. Press enter. The numerator of system 3 is shown. To get the denominator type sys3 open parenthesis 3 close parenthesis press enter. The denominator of the function is shown. You can also type denom open parenthesis sys3 close parenthesis press enter. Then type plzr open parenthesis sys3 close parenthesis press enter. The output graph plots the poles and zeros. It shows cross and circle for poles and zeros of the system respectively. It is plotted on the complex plane. In this tutorial we have learned how to define a system by its transfer function, plot step and sinusoidal responses, extract poles and zeros of a transfer function. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict-intro. This is Ashwini Patil signing off. Thank you for joining.